You what? I wouldn't recommend people do this at home. Why? It's just so tricky to get it right. Preheat, if people are wondering, intuition is like right around, right around um, 200. I think if you look it up, it's like 120 Celsius, which is like 248 Fahrenheit or some shit. But I'll just do a little on 200. Popping tags, bro. Popping tags, popping tags. Sockies. What you know about that life? What you know about that life? So when you get these, they're supposed to be tight. You don't want to mold the liner that's not, not tight. tight. Should I cut the toenails? Yeah, you should usually cut your toenails. All right, let me no, do I'll, that. I'll Nails cut. Bro, you already ripped off your boosty strip. Yeah, we need to get some new um, screws. Screws. Or does it? Did the screw rip out, or did the? the, the just the line. Well, the, they're rivets or whatever, so there's nothing to unscrew. That would have been a nightmare. So, so we're going insole on the bottom of his foot, his custom one. This one. And then he's gonna go sock over that. Usually, how do you, how are you supposed to? Oh, you have like a really thin sock, but this sock will be fine. And usually, you have a toe cap that you'll put on the on the top to like move out the uh, toe box. But we're just gonna do it like this and let the toe box work out on its own as he skis. Great. But I think most people would want to put a toe cap on. But we're going DIY. But we're just do it a little more hardcore, you know? We're just a little more punk rock than that. We're core. Yeah. We're core. What do you want? We core. You don't have to do it like us. We're not saying everyone should do it this way. We're just showing you how we do it. We're not saying you have to be like us. No, you do not. But you ate, you Matter of fact, watch. don't do it this way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do it some other way. <laughs> We're showing you what we doing. In case you was curious. Okay, the reason I'm doing that is because the sole, once these liners are hot, which, matter of fact, let's put them in. Let's put them in. Like that, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, that should be fine, right? Okay. 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 15 minutes. Set the timer. 10 minutes. Let's do, let's do 12. 12 minutes. Now we wait. They're cooking. Cookie, cookie, cookie. Start with this right one. Okay, it's gonna be pretty quick, all right? Okay. Okay, nice mm -hmm. and hot. You know it's good when it's nice and open like that. Lift. Yep, we're going on like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna tie it up, kind of. And then what I need you to do is stand up for me. Mm -hmm. And then just, yeah. Sorry, I can't say what I'm doing better. Right no, you're now. good. Ladies and gentlemen, it's go fucking time. We don't have any fucking spare. Uh, jump in there. Jump in. Push, 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 push. Let's go. Okay, now I'm gonna lift up, lift up your heel. Slam it down. Lift up here. Yep. Just like that. Push, 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 push. And then when you tighten these boys up, you don't need to tighten them up crazy tight. Because you'll be able to over tighten them. Okay, now you're just gonna stand in them. Do some, feels like do some heel ones. You feel like it's it's rolled up in anywhere, like my toes. Yeah, that's fine. What, what are you feeling in your toe? I don't know if it's just like the sock, but it's just like hella tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be tight. I, I gotta remind you, this is gonna be a bitch to break these boys in. Shit. Like this is gonna you're gonna have a few crappy really? ski days. Okay. Really? Yep. There it is. Okay, press like that. It's so crazy how stiff these are, and then they're so stiff, bro. And then you heat them up in there. Yeah, that's good. What's the thing with up your heel? Down on it. Damn. Okay, same thing. That is locked and loaded, yeah, brethren. Into the few heel clicks in. Really jam it back there as hard as you can. Actually, matter of fact, we got a nice good, or at least just putting your toes up on it. 
right, yep, just like that. Yep, and just chill. Yep. Making you lean forward, so you just chill right there. Keep the pressure on your oh. shins. Yep, and just chill till they cool down. And then now you gotta break them in. You got like probably five or six ski days of breaking them in before they really start feeling good. It's just because of how stiff the foam is. Because because what you buy in your whatever boots has really crappy, not stiff foam, so they feel better sooner. Mm -hmm. They wear out sooner. They don't. You have to keep tightening them to get them to feel tight because the foam's not as dense. But these are so dense and so tight. So it's a trade-off. If you want to be comfy, like you're not going to get as high performance. You gotta earn it. You gotta earn it. So he's got six or seven ski days of, of break-in right now that he's going to need to. He's going to need to. Uh... <laughs> okay. So it turns out there was these footbeds in there that we forgot to take out in the liners. So we're gonna go for one more heat and then take these out. As you can see my toes, don't you think? Yeah, this happened to me too. I should have known because it happened to me. Yeah, you had that squished up in your toe and you're just like, what the fuck? I was like, dude, that is like... <laughs> Doesn't feel good. Okay. Am I going back in? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's way better without that thing. Sorry, that's my bad. Yeah, that at least kind of makes sense. And same thing where you lift up your heel, slide it down. I wouldn't recommend people do this at home. Why? It's just so tricky to get it right. You really need all, like all the tools and everything ready to go, like. So you really think true. we're messing we're, we're messing it up? Oh, we'll be fine, but I wouldn't recommend anybody do it, you know. <laughs> what? But anybody that has no experience, you know, like, or even just some experience, same thing, lift up your heel, down, down, One more time. It's just, it's just hard, is what I'm trying to say. I've done this a lot of times. I love mine. Yeah, that is way. Yeah, that's better for sure, huh? Yeah, and then I go. I'm just chilling there for a second. If I'm standing straight up, hitting. If I'm flexing, no touch. Screw those foot pads that were in there. It's just really easy to like fold this liner to have a little crease, and then it like stays in there. So there's a few. I'll be honest. There's a few other things that I normally do when I have the resources to make sure that doesn't happen. Like, well, there's a spray that I spray on the inside that lubes up the shell so that. Things just slide. Things slide in better and don't get caught up on stuff. And then usually I have a sock on and then I put the footbed on and then I have a really thin like stocking tape. that I put on over that. No yeah. tape, no tape. I remember that. A little really thin like compression style sock that I put in. And usually you do the toe cap and put it all in together and then it sucks, 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 but then it feels good. But So this, we could have just messed these up permanently, but. No, no. No, no permanent, but it's, it's just, it's just as hard to 